Greetings, CBC. Welcome to this week's Sunday warm up. A uh, number of things that are happening this week, a number of things that are happening coming up, lots of different Bible studies and groups, some new ones that are starting up. So uh, pay attention to the uh, the weekly email updates, certainly as you come into the church in the foyer, always a number of things that are either being left out as far as announcements, upcoming events. Grab one of those little upcoming event sheets that's got a lot of reminders of things that are coming up, ministries to be involved with, uh, just ways in which you can be involved and participate. Uh, this week, Wednesday the 22nd, we will be having from 6 to 7 o'clock the regular principal groups gathering to work on uh, coming up with some some summary statements, uh, working definition of what is worship. It's open to anybody who would like to come uh, just to hear as we're discussing worship and as we look to define worship. It's really, really important um, uh, thing for us to be able to define as we think about what is worship. So I invite you to come to that from 6 to 7 on Wednesday. Again, I'm putting this video out on Tuesday, so that would be tomorrow. You may not see this till later in the week. Hopefully you got the word somewhere else. And then at 7 o'clock on Wednesday, the 22nd, we'll be having uh, uh, Ash Wednesday service. It's not a traditional kind of Ash Wednesday service with the, uh, the making of the cross on the forehead and things of that nature. We will just be gathering very simply to hear the Word of God, uh, to, to sing some songs together, and to spend some time uh, in, in prayer. Um, in that order, literally that simple, and in that order, we're going to come together, and as soon as we start, we're going to hear the Word of God, say a few things about it, uh, sing some songs together, and then uh, close the remaining time just in prayer uh, individually and together around the sanctuary space. So that'll be uh, this Wednesday, for Ash Wednesday. Uh, also, just a little reminder why I got you here and uh, some of the men in the Word, or if you've not come, we haven't had men in the Word the last couple of weeks, but we are back on uh, this Sunday for Men in the Word on Sunday evening. Love to have you come out for that. Again, pay attention to all the different kinds of things that are happening in Bible studies. Uh, lots of lots of different opportunities to get involved. I hope and pray that you will certainly, if you are already, consider to be a part of something. Uh, some sort of community group, service, ministry team, opportunity here at the church. For this week, very simply, uh, we'll, we'll get this here probably just a couple of minutes. We're going to look at one chapter and zero in on a, a handful of verses uh, between when Wednesday night and Sunday morning. This week we're going to look at Luke chapter 9. That's between Wednesday and Sunday. So certainly read all of Luke chapter 9. It's always good to read around those chapters or, or read Luke 1 to 9. Uh, ca capture those first uh, nine chapters this week in your study. For Wednesday night, we're going to focus in on Luke 9, verses 18 to 27. That'll be for the Ash Wednesday 7 o'clock service. We're going to look at Luke chapter 9. 18 to 27. We're also going to skip ahead just a bit to grab at the end of our study time in scripture, Luke chapter 9, verse 51. So Luke chapter 9, verses 18 to 27, and Luke chapter 9, verse 51. We will look at those verses on Wednesday evening, and then on Sunday morning, still in Luke 9, we're going to look at Luke 9, 43 to 62. Luke chapter 9, verses 43 to 62. And that will really uh, start us into some time in the Gospels over the next weeks leading up to um, the Easter season. We're going to look at a number of Jesus' parables. And so again, this is, this is kind of the teeing it up, getting us started, focusing ourselves in on a time of preparation uh, moving towards Easter as we follow in the footsteps of Christ, hear his call and challenge to us. Uh, for how we are called to follow him, to take up our cross and to follow him. And I pray, similar to Christ, that our face would be set for, towards the cross. So that's what we'll be looking at this week. Um, prayers for you as always. Uh, super looking forward to being back in uh, church this Sunday uh, to be in worship and prayer and study of the Word of God uh, with you all. I'm, again, really excited uh, and looking forward to it. Hope to see you Wednesday night uh, with us here uh, and uh, Sunday morning at, at worship. God bless you guys. Have a great week.